Hey guys, it's Chris Time FK7. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be installing some ambient light strips on your 10th gen Honda Civic. Let's go. A company called Sunset Auto has reached out to me and they sent me some ambient light strips from Sea Light. Now, I've already done a video of when I installed uh, the interior footwell lighting on the FK7 um, but that was like a while ago just in case you missed it I'll do it again but this time it's gonna be on the Type R and I'm also gonna be doing a review of these uh, because these are a different brand uh, because I believe the ones that I got from this one uh, are from Amazon but I can't remember what exactly what exact brand I got uh, for the FK7 um, but this one supposedly you can control this with your phone so that I think that's pretty cool so we're gonna go ahead and install it on the Type R starting off with the unboxing of this product this is what the box looks like uh, so it has a sea light app like I said we can control this uh, on your phone it has a music mode we can adjust the brightness and it is safe to use here's the back the side there's a little QR code I believe that is for the app if I'm not mistaken um, but yeah this is what it looks like and then inside of the box we have the light itself so you get four strips you can also control it with this uh, attached remote you can change the brightness the color and power it on and off adhesion promoter velcro to tie our cables instruction manual I would love to see this use a USB so that you can plug multiple things to it, but this is fine. But yeah, this is all we get out of the box. Again, this is from Sunset Auto. They actually shipped this to me within two days, so their shipping is nice and fast, and it came here nicely packaged. So we're gonna go ahead and install this on the car. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do, make sure underneath here is nice and clean and you're gonna want to do this to each side uh, so this is the passenger side I know it's a little dark but let me just turn the light on this passenger side just to make sure this is clean there's like a little bar here um, which is perfect to put the little strip onto you can either put it right here or right here whichever I prefer to put it on this little strip right here so this is underneath the drivers um, seat so this is all cloth what I do is you can just pull this cloth back to expose like the metal part I find something to hold the cloth so that it'll be tucked like that and then I just stick the strip underneath just to warn you guys this as adhesion promoter it literally smells like paint so and I'm gonna make sure that we clean this really good all, all four sides are where we're going to be sticking this. Actually, before we even install anything, let's test this out first. So they're obviously working. Test, test, test. Change the color. So they're all working. All right, we're gonna go ahead, turn this off, and we're gonna be installing this. So the ones closest to the remote is the ones that are gonna be on the front. What I'm gonna do to hide this wire is, I'm gonna be hiding this right here. And so what we're gonna be doing is you're just gonna pull this up until it pops out. Just like that. Run the wire through. Okay. There's like a little weather stripping thing right here. So I just ran it through like that. Haven't finished yet. but it just goes in like so. That way you won't be stepping on this while you're driving because that's not gonna be good, obviously. I'm also gonna be running my dash cam wire through this as well 
So now it looks like that. All the wires are hidden underneath the weather stripping. Uh, so it exit out, exits out right here. Again, one wire that I have here is for my dash cam, so you guys can just ignore that. What I actually did is I also hid it underneath the seatbelt pillar right here. I just tucked it in so that the wires won't be exposed. So now it looks like that. The wires are now completely hidden. You won't even know that it's there. Okay, so now we're gonna go right here on the rear. Push the chair up so that you'll have room. And now we're gonna be installing this guy right here. I actually fed the wire underneath the chair into my floor mat so that it could be somewhat hidden. And now it looks like that. But we're gonna be moving the chair back anyways. So now it looks like that. Pretty cool. That's what the front looks like. Only problem is we now have a wire dangling from over there, but we're gonna be fixing that. So this has a double-sided tape. So just go like this. Use one of these. There's like a little space right here that you guys can use. I'll snap the wire on first, just like that. gonna put it right underneath this wire you can just fish right underneath this plastic pillar just like that okay all right so we hit the wires like that okay and then Basically just hid the wire underneath here, and then it came out right over here. You can barely even see it. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So this is an example of if you were to fix the little um, cloth flap underneath your chair, this is what it will look like compared to this one where the flap is blocking the light. You can clearly see the Last Fit logo, and it looks a lot better. Uh, whereas this one, there's no light whatsoever because, see that? That's me pulling the little cloth strip that is blocking the LEDs that's with it blocked. So obviously you're going to want to pull the little cloth out of the way from your LEDs so that you can get the full on light show back here. If I were a passenger back here, we can see whoever's the whoever the driver is uh, shift gears and like step on the clutch and all that stuff. So that's pretty cool. It goes really well, especially with the red accents on the car already. Um, not only not only on the dash, but like just the red interior overall. Um, it just gives it that more of a wow factor. You have your own little remote which is connected to the light itself. You can um, cycle the colors so that every time it detects noise it reacts to it. So like if you're playing music, the whole device will react to it. Uh, let's put it on another mode. This basically will cycle through all the colors. Uh, let me just go back here so that you guys can see it. This is what it looks like. Another mode, it just blinks with all the colors again. And then this one, this is just a solid color. So if you want like more of an aqua color, that 
what is what it looks like. Uh, more of a blue, which honestly, it doesn't really match this car. I think in the Type R, uh, it should be using red, but that's what it looks like. Purple or magenta, whatever. If you're not gonna go for red, I think white is the way to go as well. Let me just close this. That's what it looks like with the lights closed. And the Type R, I think it should just be red. No other color but red on the Type R or white. But that's just my opinion. It's up to you guys. So in conclusion, will I, div will I buy this device? Yes, because I think it's really cool. And like, it just customizes the interior of your vehicle. You're never gonna lose this remote because it's connected to the light itself. However, I do wish to power this on cord that connects via USB, uh, which is kind of a bummer, but it's fine. We have two other USB slots in our car. That is for Android Auto or Apple CarPlay. And then in here, this is where I actually plugged in um, my dash cam. It's only if I'm going on long road trips, then I would probably disconnect these little um, interior light things and just plug in my regular charger so I can charge my phone. But other than that, I mean, it looks really nice with the red um, interior lighting in here. It gives the car a lot more character and an highly recommend it anyways guys if you like this video be sure to hit that like button comment down below what you guys think of this video and if you want to see more 10th gen honda civic videos be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already because i do make 10th gen honda civic content uh, every week also if you're interested in this product or any of the last fit products uh, i'll be linking it down below in the description i'll use my code ctfk7 for 10 percent off um, again thank you guys for watching this is chris time fk7 and peace out